Okay, so here we are out in the barn, and uh, this is my kiln, and I've got the crucibles, or the crucible inside, as well as the ingot mold, and it's really hot in there, but uh, it's slowly heating up. Start off on uh, low here in the front, and leave it for an hour, and medium, leave it for an hour, and then high until that little cone on the right hand side will get hot enough to melt and then it'll shut the machine off automatically. Uh, I'm supposed to let those get red hot so they have a nice glow to them uh, and then let them cool down slowly so I'm doing this today because I want to start uh, melting some aluminum and copper tomorrow. So we'll just let that sit and come back to it. All right, back again. We're going to come check on it. It's been about an hour on medium. And uh, it's really, really hot in there. But uh, nowhere near red. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on up to high. All right. And uh, we'll wait another hour. Okay, while we're waiting on that, uh, I've just got my furnace all together and it's been fired up and uh, my temperature gauge only goes to a thousand degrees but it easily got to a thousand degrees in about three minutes I mean this thing is pretty efficient um, a coke can won't quite fit in there so I'm gonna have to have this thing open with the crucible in it to melt my aluminum and uh, the tin, I'm going to put them in muffin tins and I'm going to make sure that they're small enough that I can just chunk them in this hole um, whenever I get ready to remelt the uh, aluminum. Oh yeah, glowing, glowing now. All right, I can shut it off. So three hours up to temperature. Uh, they're glowing red. They have been for probably 30 minutes, at least 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna cut the machine off and let them cool down really slowly. All right, here we are. It's the next day. Everything is cooled off. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. See if anything has changed. Uh, let's knock that off. Uh, I got a little chip in the bottom there. Not a big deal. But there is a little chip there. Uh, other than that. Looks good. Should be ready to pour. This thing didn't come with a... A really good spout if you can see this right here I mean it's just barely there so I think I'm gonna take a file before I actually pour out of it and file this down a little bit uh, we'll take a look at the ingot the ingot mold however changed significantly I don't know if it, you can see that or not but it's really porous on the top on the really poor sorry there was a wasp there it's really porous on the top and it turned a really really dark black and you can see it's getting all over my fingers as well so maybe i wasn't supposed to take this ceramic one in here now let me take it out here in the sun so we can see it better all right so the side looks a little bit the same but the top, it looks like it popped out of there or or something. I mean, I raised them both up really, really slowly. Maybe it wasn't slow enough. But it's really porous. Even on the inside there, you can see the inside. And uh, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. I don't know how well that's going to work with all those holes in it. I mean... It, it shouldn't hurt the ingot. 
I don't think it'll stick in there. But this is my first time, so we're, we're finding this out together. <laughs>